Hi guys, it's me again Jay. Welcome to my video and for today's tutorial, we will talk about cumulative probability distribution. In my previous video, we talked about classification of random variable. We have discrete random variable and we also have continuous random variable. And we also talked about the probability distribution of a discrete variable. And today, we will talk about the cumulative probability distribution. But what is the formal definition of a probability distribution? It is a function giving the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to x for every variable x. So in other words, in discrete random variable, it is just the sum of all the probabilities. To get the cumulative, it is just by summing up the probabilities of every random variable. So I have here an example. Okay, so first example we have, consider a coin flip experiment. If we flip a coin two times, we might ask what is the probability that the coin flip would result in one or fewer heads. So since the problem asked to compute the probability when our coin would have a result of one or no heads, so it would be the probability that the coin flip result in zero heads plus the probability that the coin flip results in one head. So you just have to sum up the probability with our x equal to zero and the probability when our x is equal to one. Okay, that is the cumulative probability. But the first thing we should do here is to identify what are the random variables. Okay, since the problem asks for the number of heads, so probably so we are sure that our random variable here is the number of heads, okay? But we have to know first what are the possible combinations in this experiment. That could be we have head, head, correct? We have also head, tail. We have also tail, head. And we could also have tail, tail. So in this experiment, we are pretty sure that it, we have a combination that there will be no heads to occur, and that is when our random variable is zero, and we only have one head that will occur, okay? That is one, we have two heads to occur, okay? So that would be our random variable. We have zero, one, and two. Now after that, we compute for the probability distribution. So let's compute the probability of each random variable. And that is when our probability, when our x equal to 0, that is we only have um, one outcome. So there will be no head. That is the tail, tail result. So therefore, we have 1 out of 4. When we have our probability, when our x is equal to 1, when we only have one head to occur, and that is head, tail, and tail head, that is equal to 2 over 4. And we also have probability when our head is equal to 2, and we only have one here, that is head, head, therefore that is 1 out of 4. Then we try to draw a diagram that is a cumulative or that is a probability distribution histogram so we try to draw it we have our y-axis the probability so we have one fourth and we have one half here and our x-axis is the random variable we have three random variables that is zero one and two so we have so when our x equal to 0, our probability is 1 fourth. When our x is equal to 1, our probability is 2 fourth, or that is 1 half. And when our x equal to 2, we have probability of 1 fourth. So this is our histogram. Now let's go to our next question. Let's compute for the probability when our result is one or fewer heads. So let's try to create a 
cumulative probability distribution. We have our first function. We have our probability is when our x is lesser or equal to zero. We only have one probability that is probability when our x is equal to zero, which is one fourth. Okay, and we also have in our probability when our x is lesser or equal to 1, that is the probability when our x is equal to 0 plus the probability when our x is equal to 1. And that is 1 fourth plus 2 fourth. And the result is we have 3 fourth. Then, lastly, we have probability when our x is lesser or equal to 2. That is the probability when our x is equal to 0 plus the probability when our x is equal to 1 plus the probability when our x is equal to 2. That's equal to 1 fourth plus 2 fourth. And we have when our probability x equal to 2, that is 1 fourth. Okay, and that is equal to 1. And after we compute for the cumulative probability distribution, then we try now to plot it in our cumulative distribution diagram. So we have computed probability when x is less or equal to 0, that is 1 fourth. Probability of x is lesser than or equal to 1 is 3 fourth and when the probability of x is less or equal to 2 that is equal to 1. So let's plot it now in our histodiagram. So we have our the y-axis is the probability and then our y-axis that is the random variable which is 0, 1, and 2. Okay, so let's plot it now. When we have 0 or less that is 1 fourth. Okay. When we have 0 to 1, that is 3 fourth. And when 1 to 2, that is 1. So this is the um, cumulative distribution diagram. Since the problem asks for the probability of having a result of 1 or fewer heads, then our answer in this problem should be the probability of x is lesser or equal to 1 that is 3 4. So this is our answer to the problem. And for the second question, there is a chance that a bit transmitted through a digital transmission channel is received in error. Let x our random variable equal to the number of bits of error in the next bits transmitted. And the possible values of x are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And suppose that the probabilities for each random variable are 0 0.06561, 0 0.2916, 0 0.0486, 0 0.0036, and 0 0.0001 respectively. So the question is, what is the probability that three or fewer bits are an error? So our probability that we have to compute here is when our probability when our x is lesser or equal to three. Okay, so let's compute the cumulative probability for each random variable. We have when our probability is x is lesser or equal to 0, we only have probability of 0, then that is 0 0.6561. When our probability is x is lesser or equal to 1, that is probability 0, plus when our probability is x is equal to 1, that is 0.6561 plus 0.2916 and this is equal to 0 0.9477 when we have probability when our x is lesser or equal to that is 
probability when our x equal to 0 plus probability when our x is equal to 1 plus the probability when our x is equal to 2 and that is 0 0.9963 and lastly we have probability when our x is lesser or equal to 3 that is the probability when our x equal to 0 plus the probability when our x is equal to 1 plus the probability when our x is equal to 2 and the probability when our x is equal to 3 and this is equal to 0.6561 plus 0 0.2916 plus 0 0.04 Eight six plus zero point two nine one six, and the answer is zero point nine 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 nine. This is the answer. And lastly, I have prepared an activity. I want you to solve this problem. So, from a box containing four black balls and two green balls, three balls are drawn in succession, each ball being replaced in the box before the next draw is made. So, we have first question is determine the random variable. The second question is find the probability distribution for the number of green balls. C, create a histogram for the probability distribution. And D, find the cumulative Probability distribution for the number of green balls. E. Create a discrete cumulative distribution function. F. What is the probability that one or fewer green balls are selected? What is the probability that one or more green balls are selected? So these are the answer for the activity.